alright, I'm going to get on with some tea. Ian's going to be in soon and Amelia's coming home for her tea as well. So I'm going to do some chicken breasts in a creamy leek sauce and some roast potatoes. A crisp roast potato. Two chopped leeks in a pan. We're just going to braise them off in a little bit of water and oil. And we'll parboil some potatoes. Okay, so we've got some parboiled potatoes going into hot oil. Doesn't matter what oil. They go into the oven. Now, there is no secret to a good roast potato. Doesn't matter what oil you use. I always think you're going to get a better flavour with animal fats. You do you. Whether you use sunflower oil, um, vegetable oil, lard, dripping, duck fat, goose fat, whatever you use, it doesn't matter. The key to a good roast potato is to give it the opportunity to roast, cook it for long enough. So it's on, that's just that's on 200 because i've got something else in there whether you've got it on 200 or 240 it will still roast you just need to give it long enough doesn't matter what kind of potatoes you use either people and chefs they make it out to be harder than it is it's simple just cook it for long enough and it will roast and crisp be beautiful <laughs> these leeks are wilted down slightly just gonna nestle in our chicken There, we don't want to really fry that chicken, we don't want any of it crispy. We just want to braise it with those leeks so that it's all soft and succulent and lovely. So this chicken's almost cooked all the way through. And so the leeks are cooked. Now I've got 200 grams of soft cheese. Just regular, plain, soft cheese. Amazing. And I've got some creme fraiche. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use. I'm going to use a different spoon in case I don't use it all. Don't want cheese in there. So I'm going to start by putting 150, is it mils or grams? Mils, 150 mils, half of this pot. And if we need more, we can always add more. And just stir that in, let that melt into those leeks. Finishing off nicely. If you think your sauce is getting too thick, just put a bit of milk or water in it to let it down a bit. And I'm going to put some black pepper in there as well. You know how I like a bit of pepper in a cream sauce. Give your sauce a taste. That's nice. Now instead of putting salt in, you can put a bit of Parmesan cheese in because that'll give you a nice um, cheesy saltiness. You won't need much, just about a tablespoon. Tear about two tablespoons of fresh parsley in. If you don't have fresh, just use a tablespoon of dried. I'm not going to use my fingers, you know I like to cut it with scissors, but the scissors are in the dishwasher. I'm going to have green nails. All done. Let's look at these roasties. Just look at these. Crisp. Plain old sunflower oil. How gorgeous does that look? I can't wait to tuck in. Looking forward to my tea tonight. I don't know what I'm looking forward to more. My roast potatoes or my chicken and my gorgeous sauce. So lovely cooked chicken. Gently braised. Mm. With leeks. And that gorgeous cheesy creamy sauce. Mm. Mm -mm. That is delicious. So delicious. Crisp and fluffy in the middle. It really doesn't matter what oil you use. All Any oil will do the job. 
Oh, that's gonna burn. Mm. What Duchess? I think Duchess is like in the smell of my chicken. Listen. Do you hear that crunch? He is Ian. Smell his tea. Gorgeous. I'm going to take this now and enjoy it. I'm going to plate Ian's up. You enjoy your tea, whatever you're having, and I shall see you soon. Don't forget to like and share. I get a lot of people saying, Nicola, I'm not seeing your posts. Where have you been? I haven't been anywhere. If you just scroll past, if you don't like, if you don't share, if you don't make a comment, then Facebook won't prioritise my posts on your viewing algorithm. So that's why I say like, share, comment. You've got to show that you're interested in my posts to keep seeing them. Otherwise you won't. You see most of what you interact with. Anyway, I shall see you soon. Have a great day. Bye bye.